We are on the island of Lanzarote where I'm doing my windsurf training. I'm preparing for the 2024 Olympics for the new Olympic windsurfing class called IQ4. As you can see, this is my board and below here I have the foil. So this piece of high-tech equipment is what lifts me on top of the water while I'm sailing. And tomorrow I'm about to embark on a big windsurf foiling adventure here. I'm going to attempt to foil around the island of Lanzarote. I have a very special mission during this challenge because my partner Clean Hub is actually going to collect 2.5 kilogram of ocean-bound trash for every kilometer that I sail during this challenge. So uh, I better go and check that my equipment is 100% set for this challenge because I'm ready and I really want to complete that mission. If I succeed, CleanHub will collect a lot of plastic because Lanzarote has over 200 kilometers of coastline. I'll be starting in the south from Playa Blanca. Then I sail all the way to the north, crossing the island of La Graciosa, and then sail back to the south and hopefully finish this challenge safely in Playa Blanca again. I will be spending 9 to 10 hours non-stop on the water, so I'm happy I will have someone by my side. This is Olga, my coach. She's going to support me on the boat, so she's going to make sure that uh, I stay hydrated and safe, hopefully. I would definitely take spare sail in case if you decide to dive into <laughs> yourself on some of the crashes. The forecast looks quite strong for tomorrow, so let's be prepared. I brought some of the supplements, the energy gels, protein bars. I brought a different selection of wetsuits and jackets. I so hope you're not going in bikini. Definitely not a bikini, but I thought maybe I can start with a shorty and then just put the put the thicker one if I get cold. Or... Girls, all about looking good. Eh? <laughs> we start at 8.30 in the morning and it's quite, uh, cold, quite cold in the mornings and the forecast looks quite strong. Welcome to Lanzarote. I'm luckily not the only windsurfer that is going to take part on this big adventure. I will join the boys from the Lanzarote Foil Challenge on the second edition of the race around the island. So we start here usually around here. We make all the upwind. For sure tomorrow they are going to be like wave breaking. So you try to not to go too close to the shore to avoid any danger. And also in this coast, volcanic coast, uh, some parts is not a big cliff, but you have like uh, big rocks, maybe 100 or 300 meters from the coast. So just uh, be careful with that. Unfortunately, there's only one other girl joining this crazy journey. I would say we need more girls and less plastic in the ocean. I thought I was going to be the only one, but last minute uh, Giovanna from Brazil also signed up. So uh, I'm not going to be the only girl, which is nice. And more competitive, so you yeah, cannot relax actually, anymore. Uh, <laughs> actually, that was the, uh, the one part that I wasn't that happy about. I would have almost preferred to be uh, on my own because <laughs> Against the guys, I don't feel so competitive, but as soon as there's another girl, I'm obviously gonna wanna beat her. But uh, yeah, I think uh, I should try and stick to the primary goal. While the others are in full-on competition mode, my primary goal is to help reduce plastic pollution. To see the gravity of this problem, some of the guys and I went to the local beach in Famara to meet with Rafa, an expert in plastic pollution. Okay. The amount of plastic we found in just a random square meter was really shocking. More plastic. Y muy importante. Sigue siendo un metro cuadrado. Mm. Yeah. Solamente eso. So Rafa is just reminding us that this is just one meter square. And uh, already look at what we're finding here. OK. OK. So macro plastic. Macro And now oh this my God. micro plástico. Okay. Wow. Let's see. Microplástico. Crazy. Eh? El problema es de una magnitud muy, muy, muy grande, brutal, como decimos. Y no hemos cogido toda la arena. Hay más plástico todavía. Yeah, here you Solamente 
en un, repito, en un metro cuadrado. All of this is plastic. It's not plastic mixed with rocks. You can feel that it's really light. It's light. So it's, it's definitely it. not rocks and yeah. El récord de micro y macro plástico en un metro cuadrado en esta playa, tres kilos y medio, Pero solamente un... en un metro, en una cuadrícula. En un solo metro. That's a sad record. In less than five minutes, we sadly managed to fill this big bucket with plastic and um, other stuff. It's like fishing nets <coughs> mixed with this volcanic rock. Yes. What's going on here? This is, uh, in, nosotros aquí en España la llamamos uh, piche. It's petroleum and uh, plastic. So this is all petroleum? Yeah, yeah, petroleum. So it's not like lava rock no, or something? No, 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 no. So no. this is also plastic? Not lava rock. <laughs> I'm obviously not an expert. Mm, plastic soup. But companies like CleanHub can effectively prevent trash like this ending up in the oceans. For tomorrow's challenge, they will collect 2.5 kilo for every kilometer I sail. Okay, we're slightly over now. <laughs> so this is just over 2.5 kilo now. So if I complete the challenge, there's gonna be 200 times this of plastic that will never reach the ocean. So that's uh, some really good motivation to keep going this uh, tomorrow. Day. With the first light and all the sailors gathered, I am ready to hit the water. After a kiss goodbye, I'm leaving my boyfriend and dry land behind. In the first part of the challenge, the wind was unfortunately not as strong as expected. I couldn't get enough speed to keep up with my timing. After about two hours of struggling, I made a little stop on the boat for a quick reload. So the first leg was already super intense. After we started, we went straight into a lull and uh, I got really hot. I have my thick wetsuit, so um, yeah. Go, Lena. Two minutes. Um, I think I need to go. I yep. give you the mic. <laughs> yep, fine. Then the conditions changed. The wind machine was now full on. Waves also started forming with some bigger ones washing over the boat. It became really difficult to keep filming. In these four to five hours, I sailed in very challenging conditions. Water of the challenge, a drifting fishing net almost ended my journey. I crashed and got wrapped in it. It took me about 10 minutes to free myself. In that moment, I was thinking of all the ocean animals that, just like me, get caught up in these nets. I was even more motivated now to finish the challenge. After a long day on the water, I made it to the finish. Exhausted, but in one piece. Mission accomplished. Oh my god, 
I'm so stoked I made it. Wait, how many kilometers? 203. And how many hours? 560 minutes. How many hours is that? I can't do math anymore. <laughs> it took me exactly 9 hours and 20 minutes and I burned 5,500 calories during the challenge. But what's more important are the amount of kilometers I sailed and how much plastic pollution prevention it means. I was tired, but I wanted to bring the good news to clean up straight away. Hey! Hey! I did it! How was it? Yes! <laughs> I did the 209 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's more than 200. That's even better so we can collect some more plastic. That's good, that's good. Yeah. So that's more than, actually that's more than half a ton. Yeah. Yay! That's, that's quite a lot. That's really great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, have a lovely evening. Thank you. Thanks so much for the call. Yeah, thank you too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So this crazy day ends well, and I'm extremely satisfied knowing that CleanHub will recover over half a ton of ocean-bound plastic. With my last strength, I lift the trophy for my performance for CleanHub and for clean oceans. One thing I learned already working with Olga, I uh, usually always do what she says. <laughs> we always have to carry this in the van. <laughs> Feels bad to leave, huh? Yeah?